Hi, I'm David Loftus, and I'm here at one of my favourite restaurants in North London called Patron. I've been a photographer for just over 20 years now, and so much has happened in that time from starting in transparency and film and Polaroid, then going through the digital world. So with social media now, we're all taking photographs of our food. We're using our phones to do that. I'm going to show you my top three tips for taking great photos of food on your smartphone. And I'm going to be using this, the Sony Xperia XZ. The most important thing is to shoot it while it's fresh. I mean, you can probably hear they're still sizzling. Be fast, and by setting the phone on automatic, you don't have to fiddle around with any of the exposures or the colour balance. It's all there for you. What I love is this phone is actually telling me on its own back I'm shooting food. So there's a little gourmet symbol coming up and it's trying to get the colour exactly right. Lighting is key to getting the vibrancy of your food right. Take it to some daylight. Even the gentle light coming from this window is enough. I actually like the fact that it's really dark here because the plate is so dark they really ping. So I'm sitting in the darkest corner of my favourite restaurant. Chef has just brought me out the freshest little mackerel which we're going to cook. And I want to be able to shoot this for my Instagram. The light is terrible. I have a little bit of back daylight. I've got my candlelight, the odd little light here and there. And I'm going to show you as my tip to get the best out of your phone. So you want it to look dark. You don't want to use flash to make it all look bright and light because it's not bright and light. This is about showing the reality of the restaurant, the reality of the food. The phone has actually recognised that I'm shooting in really low light, so it's set itself to expose correctly and to get my colours right. It's quite extraordinary. My big camera would now be really struggling. People often see me do this, so I just pick up the menu. You can bounce in light. I'm not really bouncing much light in, but what I am doing is taking out the little lights you get in a restaurant. All those lovely pinks and blues and greys, they're all coming out perfectly. So I'm in the kitchen at Patron. I'm with the head chef, Gabriel. The kitchen is always full of action, but we're just making a salad for lunch. Initially, it's just about trying to capture the motion. So I'm gonna get Gabriel to make his salad. Start mixing a little bit leaves with rocket. If I was in a studio, I'd remove all of this busy background. It makes it as difficult as possible for this camera to remain focused on the same spot. So I'm just hitting this predictive autofocus. A normal camera would be confused and focusing everywhere. Mixing with the dressing. Doesn't matter what I do, it's going to remain focused on the one point. A little bit of sugar, the whole grain mustard that gives more colour. That is great. Finish with pickles, cucumber. The focus has remained the whole time. It's amazing, really, because the background is so complicated. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank I'm you. Eat it now. Definitely. It's for you. <laughs> so there you are, my top three tips for shooting on a smartphone. And if you want to know more about this, the Sony Xperia XZ, click on the link below.